Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday Check-In. So this past Sunday, we talked about the quality of being salty, about how it suggests we can be asking ourselves the question, how are we seasoning? How are we making better whatever context that we might be in or find ourselves in? And it's based on uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 onwards. Um, and I just thought I would read them quickly here because there's a second image that um, is a useful and interesting one to think about um, along with the image of salt. So from Matthew 5, verse 13, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. So I find interesting here these dual images, salt and light, and the juxtaposition of these two. And I think we could maybe think about them in, um, in terms of uh, different kinds of good that we can do. Salt works to help everything in a dish work together and bring out you know, their best qualities. And what about light? What does it do? Well, it illuminates, it attracts, it comforts, it beautifies. So I thought we would take a few minutes in quiet reflection today. Um, thinking about, you know, uh, these different ways of contributing positively to the world, being salt and being light. So I invite you to just settle in your seat wherever you are. Take a deep breath. If you'd like to, close your eyes. And we're going to start out, we're going to start and end with just some breath prayer. So we'll be breathing in. You are the salt of the earth. Breathing out, you are the light of the world. So let's do that three times. Breathing in, you are the salt of the earth. Breathing out, you are the light of the world. Breathing in, you are the salt of the earth. Breathing out, you are the light of the world. And breathing in, you are the salt of the earth. Breathing out, you are the light of the world. Now let's focus on you are the salt of the earth. In a moment of quiet reflection, let's ask ourselves, what ways are we grounding ourselves and others? What ways are we helping different elements work together? What ways are we bringing out the best flavors in others? Now let's focus on you are the light of the world. We can ask ourselves what ways are we shining a light for ourselves, for others and for God? What ways are we lifting up, clarifying, enhancing, revealing something beautiful or Now let's just end with another few rounds of breath prayer. Breathing in, 
you are the salt of the earth, breathing out. You are the light of the world, breathing in. You are the salt of the earth, breathing out. You are the light of the world, breathing in. You are the salt of the earth, breathing out. You are the light of the world. Amen. And with one final breath, I invite you back into the space that you're in, wherever you are. And, uh, and thank you so much for joining us for these brief few moments together. I hope that they can serve as some inspiration for your week. And uh, we do hope that you can join us at church either in person or online, 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful week.